Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts and experiences from the uh, latest conference, uh, risk management conference in Dubai. It was the fifth international G31000 risk management conference and uh, I, I am very grateful for having an opportunity to participate in that event. So today I wanted to share some actually just one amazing experience that I had uh, during the two-day conference. Um, I had a, an amazing, a wonderful opportunity to ask a room of um, very senior, very experienced risk professionals, um, including people coming from safety, from anti-money laundering, anti-bribery, um, fraud, and uh, um, security backgrounds as well as enterprise risk managers and financial risk managers. So it was a very senior and a very diverse group and I asked them this one question. If you were to judge an organization's risk management, if you were to judge risk management effectiveness at any given organization, what are the few things you would look at? And I got some really amazing responses. Um, the, the responses were ranging uh, across the field and I think more than 20 or so different answers uh, came up during the, during the brainstorming session. But there was a very uh, definite trend, uh, very definite trend that I wanted to share with you today. So let me just recap, uh, sorry for the long introduction, I, I, I was quite excited about this opportunity I must say. Um, I asked a room of very senior risk professionals, very diverse group of people, what are the signs or what are the indicators of effective risk management? And the things that they talked about can be broadly placed into sort of two buckets. The first one was looking at how business decisions are being made, looking at how strategy is set, looking at how uh, objectives and targets are set, are uh, cascaded down from that strategy. Are the risks part of that discussion. Are the strategy or is the strategy, are the objectives, are the targets set with risks in mind? Are the performance targets monitored based on, um, or on risk analysis? Are the budgets set based on um, the transparent information about the risks associated with meeting the objectives? Um, are investment projects reviewed and approved with risks in mind and is it done systematically, transparently, consistently. So that was the first thing, um, which was quite amazing. So you judge the effectiveness of risk management not by the quality of the risk register or the risk map or the risk appetite statement or the risk framework or the risk policy, but rather how well the business operates with risks in mind. And this is a, this is a very, very big challenge that I'll try to sort of explore further in the next in the next few videos. So this was the first bucket. And the second bucket was uh, all the questions relating to understanding same language, consistent terminology, the culture basically, the risk culture of the organization. So for anybody to judge if risk management is effective, you essentially need to look at two things. How business is doing business, how it's working, is it working with risks in mind or is risk analysis, risk management just an afterthought or um, a compliance activity that just has to happen every quarter or so. Uh, and the second, do people comprehend the significance of performing risk analysis? Do they understand the limitations of just normal basic human uh, decision making? Do they appreciate the need for risk analysis in any situation under uh, under uncertainty. So those, those are the two things that came up in the discussion and I, I was amazed and delighted that not a single person said risk register, risk framework, risk basically none of the risk related products that we're so used to generating um, have come up in the discussion. So clearly there's, there has been a major shift in the mindset of risk managers globally and hopefully uh, you are on the right path as well, you're moving towards that direction that risk management is not really about managing risk. It's about helping supporting the business to make better, more um, educated or more informed, more risk informed decisions. 
so thank you uh, for your for your time on this video uh, do subscribe to the risk academy channel if you want to see more videos like that for now thank you and goodbye